Now, good morning, all of you. Now, is the screen visible to you? Hello, is the screen visible to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, till now, only 29 students are joined. We will wait for a couple of minutes and then we will start. So good, good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So let's start with the continuation of the last lecture. Now in the last lecture, we have started the point which is related with the earthquake. Okay, now in that uh, we have seen the basic things related with the earthquake that is uh, these four terms generally used in the earthquake focus epicenter depth of focus and isosismal line what is meaning of each that we have discussed now after that we have seen the types of the earthquakes depending on the depth 
three types of their shallow focus, intermediate focus, and deep focus earthquake. So today we are going to discuss regarding the causes of earthquake. Causes means reason behind the formation of the earthquake. Now uh, we have discussed that the earthquake means the vibrations developed in the earth surface. That vibrations we can consider as a earthquake. Now we uh, I have uh, explained you the vibrations uh, developed in the earth crust or on the earth surface are two types. One is the man-made uh, vibrations and second one is the natural vibrations. Man-made uh, reasons are there. Also the uh, natural causes are there for that vibration that is earthquake. Now uh, when we are talking about the uh, vibrations, these vibrations are developed due to uh, certain uh, activities. The first one is the landslide and avalanche. Landslide. Uh, we know the meaning of landslide that we are going to discuss after this uh, earthquake topic in detail. Now, what is the meaning of landslide? What is the causes behind the formation of landslide? What are effects and how can we control that landslide? That we are going to discuss after this earthquake. But only remember that landslide means the rockfall in the hilly region. It is considered as a landslide and avalanches. Can anybody know what is the meaning of avalanches? I think some of you have heard this word avalanches. Do you know the meaning of avalanches? <laughs> avalanches means it is a type of landslide, but uh, it occur in the ice covered area when huge blocks of the ice fall from maximum elevation. That is considered as the avalanche or sliding of the huge ice block. I think <clears throat> majoritarily you have, uh, you people have seen uh, this in various movies. Okay. Uh, best example is the Bahubali. That is how the ice is um, sliding in huge quantity. That sliding or falling of the ice sheets or blocks of the ice is considered as a avalanche. So when landslide and avalanche happen, it forms the some vibration in that area. So that vibrations are also considered as the earthquake. So earthquake produced due to landslide avalanches or rockfall are in the form of minor tremors. Now tremors, now meaning of the tremor is the vibration. So the uh, uh, vibrations which are developed due to these activities, that is landslide avalanches and rockfall are minor. Why it is considered as a minor? Because they are limited to certain area. They are not recorded on large scale. They are limited to that region. And uh, time is also very small. Not for long time these uh, vibrations are recorded. So these are recorded only by very sensitive seismograph. Okay, if the uh, in that area, if the sensitive that is uh, advanced seismograph are um, uh, fixed. Seismograph means the instrument which are um, used for the seismic waves or earthquake waves. That instrument is considered as a seismograph. That is also we are going to discuss up to this point. So they are limited to certain area and they are recorded only by the sensitive instrument if they are uh, established in that area. Now, second type of the earthquake, that is second cause reason for the formation of the earthquake is the tectonic earthquake. Tectonic. Now it is related with the earth's internal activities. So these are considered as a major earthquake and are recorded over large area. Two points are important. Major earthquake means if the 100 uh, earthquakes are happening or uh, producing per year, then out of that 100 earthquakes, about 95% earthquakes are of the tectonic type of the earthquake. Means uh, the uh, for 
uh, all type of the earthquake majorly the internal processes of the earth are responsible and that uh, earthquakes which are developed due to these earth internal processes that earthquakes are considered as a tectonic earthquake now these <coughs> are very uh, large in number are and also recorded over large area now what is meaning of this recorded over large area means if the earthquakes are happen in india then the uh, earthquake of that uh, earthquake waves of that earthquake is recorded globally in all countries the earthquake waves, waves will be recorded so it is considered as a global earthquake now volcanic earthquake this is the another reason behind the formation of the earthquake volcanic earthquake now what is meaning of volcanic as the name indicates that the volcanic activities are responsible for the formation of the earthquake that's why such a type of the reason or such a type of the cause is considered as a volcanic earthquake now uh, how the earthquakes are developed due to this volcanic activity we know that from uh, Earth uh, below the uh, volcanoes uh, or magma trying to come towards the upward side, so it creates continuously pressure towards the earth surface, and due to that pressure, the earth surface gets vibrated, and that vibrations are considered as a earthquake. So these are caused due to increase in gas pressure within the volcanic pipes. If the gas pressure is increased in volcanic chamber or volcanic pipes we know that in the uh, volcano three types of the products are there solid liquid and gaseous so if the gas pressures are increased it create the huge pressure and due to that pressure the earth's uh, surface get vibrated these are of low intensity and localized in nature so likewise the landslide avalanches they are having low intensity and they are only Uh, limited to certain areas where the volcanic activities are going on they are not recorded over global level, uh, scale like a tectonic earthquake so these are the three types of the earthquake one is the landslide uh, three causes of the earthquake one is the landslide avalanche second one is the tectonic activities and third one is the volcanic activities mm, i think you have the uh, understand what is the causes of the earthquake now we will move further now behind the formation of the earthquake that is <coughs> tectonic earthquake that we have discussed tectonic earthquakes are the major type of the earthquake and in this tectonic activity there is one theory which is related with this uh, which is related with this tectonic earthquake and that theory is considered as the elastic rebound theory okay elastic rebound theory now uh, in this theory we are going to discuss what is the meaning of this theory and uh, what are its importance now here towards the right hand side uh, one uh, sketch is one sketch is there just wait i have to activate my control Yes, wait. Towards the right hand side, where I have uh, marked that portion in the red color circle, what you understand regarding with that uh, drawing? Uh, in the first step, if you have hold uh, a stick, wooden stick. or uh, suppose your scale is there okay when you apply the pressure on that stick or scale from both the end with your hand first what happen first that straight scale or that stick will be bent okay it get some curvature now still you are applying the pressure on the ski uh, stick or scale what is what will be the next step the 
scale or that stick will be broken from middle part so one single stick can be converted into two separate sticks this is the first this is the second okay so due to this breaking the energy is released which is stored which is applied on that stick okay so i will explain uh, this in marathi okay now ya tikani ek simple experiment ye dilela hai ki tumhi jar tumcha donni hatamade ekadi stick kiwa स्केल जर घेल प्लास्टिक स्केल तुम्हें दोनों एंड कर जर प्रेसर एप्लाय के फोर्स एप्लाय के स्टार्ट हो रहा है सुरुआती ती स्टीक कि तुम्हें स्केल बेन्ड हो कंटिन्सली जर तुम्हें प्रेसर एप्लाय कर मधुन ती ब्रेक हो मधुन ब्रेक जार का होता दोन सेपरेट पार्ट्स तैयार होता तुम्हें जे प्रेसर एप्लाय के स्टेक मध्य कि स्केल मध्य एनर्जी डेवलप ती एनर्जी पूर्णपने रिलीज होते ओके नाउ व्हाई दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज गिवन हियर नाउ सेम फिनोमेना इज एप्लीकेबल विथ दी अर्थ सरफेस विच इज टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विच आई हैव मार्क इन दी ब्राउन कलर नाउ इफ दी one area is there like this if this is the one area and on this area the pressure is applied from the opposite side like from this side and this side now what will happen first this straight area will be bent okay like this the bending will be formed in this area now still pressure is going on what will happen two separate blocks will be formed one slide in this direction and the second block will be slide in this direction though so two separate blocks will be formed and in this uh, condition the energy which is stored in this earth block is releasing that's why at the time when the uh, uh, energy is releasing it means that the earthquakes will be formed vibrations will be formed due to the sliding of these two blocks and if the blocks are sliding it means that in that area the formation of the earthquake are there means formation of earthquake waves ata ya tikani ka explain kelela hai apan ki he phenomena ya tikani explain kelela hai just a minute just wait one minute